<laughs> hey everyone, my name is Owen Fox and I'm in Florida and I um, today I wanted to make a video about the power of being open to the universe and the power of not being fixed on certain things happening a particular certain exact way that you want them to happen. Um, in my life I've experienced a tremendous benefit from being open to what may come because going with the flow is being happy no matter what so to speak it's it's the ability and the power within you to find comfort peace or happiness or contentment or joy or satisfaction with what life brings to you what your higher self brings to you rather than your limited ego mind which has its desire and wishes which are fixed on its what it views within the realm of possibility and what you what your limited ego fixed mind um, based on its past experiences alone thinks is best for you or possible so when you let go of needing and having to have a specific outcome which your ego mind thinks is best the then the universe like the ego my the ego's floor could be the the ego's like ceiling of what's possible could be the higher self's floor, the, the beginning, the base. Much more expanded, better things can come to you. So, what does this mean in real life? So, it means when you let go of, let's say, a negative relationship, a toxic relationship, or a toxic or negative or limiting uh, behavioral pattern or an addictive pattern or behavioral behavior, you create a space. I can see a beautiful squirrel on the ground. It's very beautiful. You create a space for the universe to fill in the blanks and to make something like so much nicer and better for you, you know, to give you a much better relationship, much better health, much better home or house or job. Because, yeah, you have to be open and willing to experience something new and better than what your mind is capable of thinking or imagining. So imagination is great. It's like very powerful, but there's limits to what we can imagine. Uh, so trust and be open and believe that more and better, that's more perfect for you can come to you when you let go of your need for knowing what's going to come to you or having to have a specific outcome. So Irish says, hello, I'm watching from Pennsylvania. Hey, Irish. Hey, Irish. I'm Irish. <laughs> Is your name Irish? <laughs> so um, in my life, I've seen this happen a lot. I have much more flexibility and peace because I'm so open because like I just don't know what's going to happen and I know life's a mystery so what happens to me is like lately in the last many years I've been going many different countries I've lived in in the last like seven years probably I've lived in Bali for a month Thailand for a month and then Thailand for a month and a half I've lived in Malaysia for three or four months or five months I can't remember uh, I lived in Costa Rica for a month um, I lived in the Caribbean for four months. I lived in the Canary Islands in La Palma for three months. I lived in Canada, I think, for six months, and then three months, so that's nine months total in the last two years. Uh, I lived in Ireland for a good, like, I don't know, like every time in between them, I've gone back to Ireland, which is where I'm originally from. So I said Irish's name right. That's great. So when you're living in fear, and when you're afraid of like, it's kind of hot, when you're afraid of like getting a surprise from the universe, which is out of your scope of what you dreamed possible, you're going to be limited. So you have to be open because your higher self or the universe knows like so much more than you, like depths, like, like it's infinite. Your human limited ego mind or your human limited mind, which you don't based off of what you've experienced, because you don't know what you haven't experienced. Like you don't know what it's like to live in a cave or tunnel or in a volcanic region if you have don't live in a volcanic region you don't know what it's like to be like the opposite sex or to like experience having sex if you're the opposite sex like what it is for a man if you're a female or if you're a female what it is from like for a man so we can only go by what we've experienced like we can only go off comparison based on our past so that's extremely limited because there's so many things we haven't experienced as one human body and one human person um so for me in my life like 
yeah, it's been a roller coaster. Like a lot of things have happened and come and gone. Like people, friends, relationships have come and gone quite a lot. Um, and I may have had hopes or dreams of expect or expectations of, of relationships or even my health or even where I'm going to live, but they've all changed many times over. So what I've come to learn and experience, not just to think or to realize, but to experience and know for myself, I cannot have proper peace if I'm fixed, but I can have a lot more fun and empowerment and feel abundant, which is abundance. Abundance isn't a material object. Abundance is, is a, an energy or a feeling or a vibration of feeling abundant. In the same way, love isn't being in a relationship and having hormones and neurotransmitters and chemical and sexual attraction. Love, that's infatuation or hormonal falling in love or what you want to call it. The vibration of love or unconditional love is a feeling. It's a vibrational, it's a state of vibration, which is very good to live in. It's unconditional. It doesn't matter whether you like them or don't, like the behavior. It doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not. Um, it doesn't matter if you've broken up or not and you were in a relationship. Love means still care. Uh, you're open and you're receptive and you're willing to give and to share and to participate um, as long as they're not toxic or abusive, etc. Because that's when self-love dictates. I want to look after me and love me and care for me. And um, so abundance is a vibration. But I know in your life, everyone who's watching, you have so many things changing and uncertainties in your life. There's doubts, because I have like doubts too, like for sure. Like I sometimes have doubts, but I try not to feed into my doubts. Like what's, I don't want to feed my thoughts and focusing um, into what I don't want to happen, because that doesn't serve you any good. It creates anxiety or fear or apprehension or tension and tightness. What you want is to feed into trust and belief and faith that the universe or higher self or spirit, whatever you want to call it, has your back and is always out for your highest good. And sometimes your highest good means losing something that at the time you don't want to lose, such as a relationship or even your health, potentially, um, because it spurs you on to greater growth, like a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly. And that's happened in my life. So. My biggest losses have been my greatest inner gains. My biggest outer losses have been my greatest inner gains, like virtues, passion, love, understanding, peace of mind, awareness, um, understanding, wisdom, um, care and love and happiness and joy, love to people. And oh, 